the United States. So let's look at the different versions. So he's American. Il est. Il est American. American. Lovely. We've got a link to do there if we wanted to. Il est. Il est américain. 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 He comes, il vient. Il vient. Well done. Il vient de... No, no. What's the name of the country? Les états. So what's Duff Les Lais going to make? Oh. No. Go oh. coming the other way now. So we've got de. Oh. So a plus lay will become o. Oh. De plus lay will become de. Oh. Join it together. Spot on. So he comes, il vient, des états unis Okay? Or he is of origin American. Il est, est d'origine. Good. How am I spelling origine if I'm pronouncing the in? in Spell it for me. O R I G I N E. Spot on. Because otherwise it'd be origin, like la fin. Yeah? Origine. So il est d'origine. And what does it tell me about the word male or female? Female, yeah? Female. So, American. So, you can say, Il est américain, c'est un américain. Il vient des États-Unis, he comes from America. Il est d'origine américaine. Okay? Uh, or you can just say, he's loud, and it will normally mean the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I say that as someone who was, who, who, who trust me, who, 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 who loves Americans very dearly. My, uh, four of my uh, five best friends are Americans, so... Mm. So, il est d'origine américaine. Lovely. Right. Uh, great. So, the fourth one. So, what happens? So, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Qu'est-ce qui se passe uh, um, pendant la mission? What happens in the TV show? Okay. Um, L'homme oui? a uh, américain. So, L'homme américain. Oui? L'homme américain. Well, you can just say l'américain. L'américain. That would be the American. Okay, l'américain or l'homme américain. Um, how would you say the American in one word if it was a family in American? L'American. American. Oui, la femme américaine, l'américain. L'américain. Oui, qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Um, il est allé à Paris. So he went. Il est allé à Paris. Il est allé à Paris apprendre. Pour apprendre. Pour apprendre. Oui. Le français. Très bien. So he went to America. To he went to to go to America. Il est allé à Paris pour apprendre le français. Oui. Um, et il vient. Okay, il vient, vient d'une famille, he comes from a family, famille. très riche, et bien connu, et célèbre, well known, ok, oui. Mais les, les français, les, les fran the French, les, euh, les français amis, so give me, but his French friends. Mais, non, ok, so, um, mais il est un euh, secret. Okay, but it's a secret. Yes. Okay. So they don't know. Person say. Lovely. Well done. Person say. used a lot of great grammar. So let's say they don't know. So what's the verb to know? Uh, savoir. savoir. Let's use my method. Is it an A verb or soft hard? Savoir. So they soft know. Soft hard. So give me the hard of savoir. Sav. So they know. Ils Il savent. Sav. They don't know. Ils savent. Pas. Pas. Lovely. Ils savent. 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 That is French. Il est... French. Uh, yeah, he's American. Um, but he's rich. Il est riche. Il est riche. Okay. Or oh, oh, there's another that... verb. Ils ignorent. Ignorer is to not know. To be ignorant. So, ils ignorent. Ils ignorent. Lovely. Good. Lovely. Uh, and therefore, et donc, qu'est-ce qui se passe? What happens? Um, um, uh... Well, they don't realise... In, they, they're, not, they're not to the current. Ils ne sont pas au courant. Lovely? That he's French, that he's rich, okay? So what happens? Um, oh, I'm sorry, you said something else, brilliant. So you said nobody knows. So let's have a quick check at this. That was excellent. So if you said Luke knows, okay, so Luke say, okay. My name's Luke, by the way. It's really funny, but I had a request for lessons this week, and nobody knew what my name was, and I'm sure it's under <laughs> So I'm Luke, okay? Logic language learning with Luke, okay? So Luke knows is Luke say. Nobody knows is personne say, or strictly, personne ne say. Now, we don't need a pas, okay? When you have a personne, you have a pas. Um, you don't have a pas. 
So I know nobody, as in I am not familiar with anybody. Je ne connais. What am I doing? I can't write. Je ne connais personne. Or I know nobody. Je connais personne. Okay. Um, nobody knows me. Personne c'est moi. Pers so give me nobody. Personne. Personne me connaît, let's see, or personne ne me connaît. So it's basically, you're always going to have a no with a personne, but we don't often use it orally again. Okay, so nobody knows, personne ne sait, personne ne sait. Lovely? Lovely. So what happens? What sort of adventures happen? Um, um, <coughs> une fille. Une fille, oui, une fille française. Une fille française. Um, Okay, so if I say in English first. Good, yeah. you say in English and you translate. Okay, so um, one day, one of the French flatmates. Good, so let's One of the girls. So good, off we go. So one day, masculine day. Un jour. Un jour, lovely. One of the, uh, so un jour, lovely. One of the, uh, the so um, flatmates um, is a mes coloc, col colocation, to be et en colocation. So mes coloc, my co hirers. So one of the, so one. Uh, Lovely, but she's a girl. Oui. Du, of the. So what's my word for of? De. De. What's the plural? How many does in this plural? Yeah. So what does de lay form to make? Lay. Une day coloc. De coloc. For une des amis, one of the friends. Okay. Lovely. What does she do? Qu'est-ce qu'elle fait? Um, she thinks she's won the lottery. Okay, so she thinks. Uh, elle pense, elle yeah. a gagné. And she thinks that. Now notice Ginny's made, que... lovely. Ginny's made a very good point. In French, we always have the that. So elle pense qu'elle qu a, a gagné, gagné le loto. Le loto. Or elle pense qu'elle a gagné. Give me a lot of money. Elle pense qu'elle a gagné beaucoup d'argent. Lovely. Lovely. Let's just for grammar say she thought she had won a lot of money. Let's take both tenses back. Elle so she thought. Lovely. Or elle a pensé. Or elle pensait. Was she was she? Could go with both. It elle depends. Pensait. Elle pensait that she had. Qu'elle avait. Lovely. Qu'elle avait. Elle avait. So if you want to make something she had won, you're going to make the middle verb qu'elle avait. Donc elle pensait qu'elle avait gagné. Lovely. Uh, de l'argent, some money. Okay. So okay. some money. What's my word for some? De plus. The. How do I say money? Argent. L'argent. So how am I going to say the money? D'argent. I need the de. De l'argent. Good. I always need the de l'argent. De, de money. Some, uh, de so, some money. Sorry. So she, so she thought she'd won the money. Yeah. Elle, elle pensait qu'elle yes, avait gagné l'argent. Yeah. She thought she'd won some money, de l'argent. How do you say water? Le. 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 Well done. That's the water. How am I going to say some water? De Spot on, de l'eau. So do you want a glass of water? Do you want a glass of water? Yeah? Um, what are we going? Un verre d'eau. Yeah? D'eau, of water. Um, de l'eau is some water. There's a beautiful advert that used to be du pain, du, du vin, vin et du, du bossin. Some mm. bread, yeah. some... What is it? Du pain, du vin, some wine, and du bossin, some bossin cheese. So basically, we're saying all of them are masculine, okay? But elle pensait qu'elle avait gagné de, enfin, le, du, enfin, le loto. Give me but. Mais. It was. C'était. False. Faux. Faux. So, c'était faux. Or it wasn't the case. Ce n'était pas, c'était pas. So, I'm going to start writing the nuz out, because for those of you that are doing, I really want you to ditch the nuz for speech, but for exams, we really need the nuz. So, ce n'était, um, ce n'était pas le cas. It wasn't the case. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé ensuite What happened next um, No, um, c'était vrai. Oh, c'était vrai. Vrai, vrai. Ok, c'était vrai. C'était vrai. So it was true, c'était vrai. Mais uh, l'homme américain. Oui, mais. A perdu. Oh my God, l'homme <laughs> américain. L'homme a perdu. Now, did he lose or had he lost? Had lost. Should we make it before? How would I say had lost? L'homme américain. Um, had lost um, avait. Lovely. So if you want to make it had, you just put the word in the um, in the blue perfect. So l'homme avait perdu. Le so you put your ticket. middle word in was le le le, enfin, le ticket le billet. Yeah. Le lovely. Billet, le ticket. Lovely. lovely. Carry on. Um, and. Et. She was. Um, elle était. 
Lovely. Let's look at ways to say annoyed. Okay, let's finish with that because that's a really good thing. So, everybody knows how to say they're happy. Okay, so, this final, final thing is something I've done with Ginny before and it is really, really useful. When you have limited vocabulary compared to your English, you want a way to make these words work. So, let's say you have the verb... Um, um, what we basically do is we want um, we want the verb, we want the, uh, the gerund, so that's the, the, well as far as you're concerned, let's say the ing, <coughs> the ing, and we want the adjective. Okay? So say we had the verb vexe, yeah, vexe, vexed, okay, dumbs it sounds, v-e-x-e-r, uh, enerve, Okay, um, NRV. Okay, um, so annoying. So the verb is NRV. So what's the core going to be of NRV? NRV. So that annoys me. Sam and NRV. It's annoying. Say NRV. Ing NRV. NRV. Lovely. Uh, I am annoyed. Je suis NRV. Okay. So basically, uh, yeah. we have to look at the different words of the same, um, the same thing. So I've not seen that ing before. Okay, so ing. So let's look very quickly at ing. Ing in French is something to be careful with. I am speaking. You do not say je suis parlant, but as a general rule, ing is a n t. So in speaking with Ginny, I discovered her father lives near her. En parlant. Okay, but we do not use it the way we use it in English because it's everywhere in English. I was speaking. You don't say j'étais parlant. Okay, so this is the verb though is when you're going to use it as a verb. So um, uh, interest, for example, intéressé. Okay, um, um, uh, so say for me intéressé. Intéressé. Okay. So, intéressé is the last part of your verb, okay? Essay, so how are you going to say he, what's the core going to be? Interest. So, that interests me, ça m'intéresse. It's interesting, c'est intéressant. Intéressant, lovely. I'm interested, je suis intéressé. Lovely. Okay, so she is, so let's end with a really good expression. So, she annoys me, he annoys me, elle m'énerve. Do not write this, do speak this. So to piss somebody off, to pee somebody off, is to make them shit. So I'm not going to write this down, but she makes me, elle me fait, or she made, she made me, elle m'a fait, chier, C-H-I-E-R. So you pissed me off, elle m'a fait chier, okay? Um, so it's... Annoying, it's shitting, it's chiant, it's enervant. Okay, good. Um, so, what happened in the end? Um, uh, elle a trouvé. Good, so, elle a trouvé or elle a retrouvé. Oui, uh, le billet, le ticket. Elle a oui. trouvé le billet. Oui. Mais. Um, Is it too late? Oui. It was. C'était trop tard. Trop tard. Trop tard. Lovely. So say for me to finish, after losing, so what's the verb to lose? Perdu. Perdu. Per, 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 what's the giving after losing? Après, Après avoir perdu. Lovely. Where would my it go if I'm saying after losing it? Après, so after, after having found it, après l'avoir perdu. Um, so after having lost it, she found it. So she gave me she found. Um, she elle, found. A, elle a trouvé. Lovely. Elle a, elle a, elle a trouvé. trouvé. Final comment of the day. If you have après la, so after doing something, is a phrase which is a clause which can go on either side. So after having a shower, I brush my hair. I brush my hair after having a shower. Okay? So after taking my shower. So après avoir pris ma douche, I do actually brush my hair on occasion. So je me suis brossé les cheveux. Okay? Je me suis coiffé. Or, je me suis coiffé, I coiffed myself, I did my hair, après avoir pris ma douche, okay? 
Uh, lovely. Well, well done. So can we all have a little well done to Ginny, who's been very, very, very motivated in this class. Wave goodbye, Ginny. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Okay. Um, if